Tuesday thing, and uh, it's Josh XO's weapon of choice, number 46. It's um, Sunday. What? It's, it's, Sunday. it's Sunday? Oh, crap. Sunday. Wow. That's what happens when you have three days off in a row. You don't know what time it is. Um, took away a week off. Just needed a refresh. Yeah. Just needed a, needed a little me time going on. So uh, that happened. Anything exciting happened during that whole time? No. No. Nothing. Nothing exciting. Sat around the house. What's it? Charlie was really cute. Charlie was really cute. He's being really whiny right now. And, uh, yeah, so we're back. Um, let's see. Look forward to episode 50. That's coming up in four episodes. We're going to be uh, talking about the life of Josh and hair and all that kind of thing. So there's no, no model on uh, episode 50, but that should be good. And, huh, what else? What else we got going on? Absolutely nothing. Nah. Nah. We're preparing for the big rain. We're preparing for the big uh, monsoon that's coming. Um, okay, remember we're usually on three times a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays at 7 p.m. Pacific Time at JoshXO TV. And you can uh, watch past episodes at JoshXO.com. And if you are watching this as a pe past episode, go ahead and hit the like button down at the bottom there. And that'll let all your friends know. Like me. Because I like it when like people like me. Because I have very low self-esteem. Um, follow me on various social networking places like facebook.com backslash joshxo. Go ahead and like that. And Oh, it's actually backslash joshxo TV. And then twitter.com backslash joshxo. So there's a whole lot of joshxos going on. And this is a very familiar model to the show. This is Tisha, one of our favorites, that Yay. just totally lets me do whatever the hell I want. And uh, that's really, really cool. So today I'm going to do a little like asymmetrical thing. And uh, I'm going to actually take the uh, asymmetry, asymmetry uh, up through the top. And I'm going to kind of bring it around here. So this is all going to be short, kind of on this side. Probably eventually scissor over comb. And this, the back here, um, I kind of like leaving it as a bob shape. So I'm going to raise the graduation up a bit, but I want to disconnect the weight right here. So I want it all to be really short through here with keeping these corners right here. So it's going to be very square. And then we'll figure out something for the top and some for the bangs and some for this side. But... I got a rough game plan going, you know, and like whenever you're doing a haircut that you haven't done before or whatever, just like you don't need to have a full step-by-step, -step, you know, you don't need to watch a whole video and copy it, just just have a game plan in your head, like, where you're roughly going to go. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to start out on this side, and I'm going to start out very flat here. I want this to be very kind of square and flat and then round up into that. So but the layers horizontally, I want it to be very flat this way and very square. So we're going to start there. And I don't know if I've shown you guys this before. I may have, but I'm going to show you a way that if you're cutting a very square shape that you can make sure that it stays very square. So now if I just start vertically here, <coughs> if I start vertically and I go like this, right? I'm at the mercy of the head shape there. So if I just go completely finger length all the way here, then because her head isn't completely flat, that would be really odd looking on her if it was, um, it goes in, right? So it's, if you look at this, if I put a wall here, the comb only touches here and then it kind of goes in a bit. But I want to keep that flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a horizontal section in there. And a good uh, example of doing that from the old, like, Sassoon, old, old Sassoon books, if you look at a, a haircut called the uh, Wrap, it uh, starts out very, like, flat in the back, and then everything connects to that. So it's kind of that basic idea there. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and start. Let me figure out a good way so that my stupid hands aren't in the way. My stupid, big sausage hands. <laughs> That's a lie. I don't have sausage hands. All right, so I'm going to take a horizontal section right here at the top. Actually, let's take it more, a little lower than the top there. I'm going to 
this little man in the bowl. <coughs> All right, so we're going to take a flat section right there, and we're going to take it finger length. And I'm creating a wall. I want to keep this very flat. Don't turn your fingers in. You want to keep them very wallish. All right, and straight across. Yeah. Okay, so you can see I have this like short little shelf, and then it's longer at the bottom here. Now what I'm going to do, because I have this flat line established, go back, make sure it's still flat. Now that I have this flat line established, now what I can do is go back and take quarters or vertical sections, and I know that as I go, as long as I follow that upper guide there, that I'm going to be at the right length as I move back. So I'll go ahead and start at the front. It doesn't matter. I can start in the back and go front. I can start in the front and go back. It doesn't really matter. And I am cutting palm to palm, um, which you should do if you want to graduate. It's not, technically, if you're layering, it's not that great of an idea. But you guys can kind of see a little easier when I'm doing it palm to palm. Uh, the other thing is, too, as long as you know that your natural tendency is to drop your hands when you're cutting on the inside of your hands, um, as long as you know that's a tendency, then you can kind of avoid it. So... Just be aware that may happen, that you may go into graduating it instead of layering. Now, I am going to go back and scissor over comb this. However, I want to make sure, uh, I want to make sure I have a strong, solid shape in there before I go in and scissor over comb. And that way I know I'm working with the shape. It's easier for me to look at the shape as I'm cutting. So just taking these vertical sections. Alright, and I'm going to work back right behind the ear here, right? Because that's what I, this is what I still want to look like a bob. So I'm going to work right back to that. Alright, so now I can go in. Go ahead and do a little cross check there. Alright, pretty clean. Holy check, I'm clean. Okay, so go back. Just checking this all out. This is a little loose there. I'm not worried about it. I can kind of leave it. Alright. So now I want to go a little bit higher with this length. So if we look at the, this at the front here. I'm actually going to take this above the parietal ridge. So I'm going to create the same length going up and around. Instead of keeping it square, I'm actually going to continue with it. Right, so I will actually work on the outside of my fingers this time. All right, up uh, and around. Right, so I'm going to start off flat, and then as I move, I'll kind of pivot my fingers around. Bam. All right, and just keep moving. And just continuing forward. Like I said, it, because we're cutting so flat and so much of the same shape, it doesn't really matter if we're working forward or back because we all want this the same. We're not creating so much of a shape in there. <laughs> Alright, so you can see like how close we're kind of hugging this head, the head shape there. Now I have a little bit of a fringe area there, so as I get to right about here, I'm going to overdirect it back into that. So there will be a little overdirection. That just leaves a little more length around the fringe area. All right. Bam. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and scissor overcome this a bit. Take this all a little bit tighter. I'm going to use a longer pair of scissors. There we go. And just working up this panel right here. Good. 
doing okay under there? Oh, yes. Yeah, cool. All right, so it's really easy for me to scissor over come now because I took that length off and put it in a strong shape. So now I can go back. I mean, if the hair was a bit shorter, if you guys really wanted and you were feeling it, you could actually just go right for the scissor overcoming. But me, I kind of like putting my shape in first. There we go. So, you know, a lot of times when people are, have been doing this like short on the side things, they stop kind of flat. I'm actually taking it up a little higher to make it kind of interesting. Because I've been seeing so many people doing this kind of shaved on one side thing lately that I want to kind of make it look a little bit different. And does anyone out there know what kind of face shape you need for this kind of haircut? Sweat. You need... No. <laughs> it could be square, it can be round, but the kind of face shape you need is a pretty one. No. <laughs> Face shape. It is. Pretty as a face shape. <laughs> don't don't go putting this on your clients that look like Phyllis Dilly. <laughs> Does anyone know who Phyllis Diller is anymore? I'm kinda dating myself. Don't put this on your I don't know. Who's an ugly celebrity nowadays? Anyone? No? Rebecca Black. Rebecca Black. <laughs> you take that back. She hasn't gone through puberty yet. And she seems like an angel. She's really pretty makeup, too. Because it's Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> That's the day after Thursday. Yes. Party and party. Yeah! All right, so I got my my front there kind of shortened up a bit. And see how it kind of comes around a bit. And actually, like, if I was using a mirror, I'd really want to see, like, what's going on with the shape. But I'm actually going to stand back <laughs> behind the camera so you can see it. And I notice it's a little, there's a little like kind of corner right there that I should take off a bit. So you want to be aware of that so it's not kind of sticking out and creating, making it look like there's this weird bump there or something. Cool, so that side's done. Let's see, where should we go now? Let's start in the back. I'm probably going to pull the camera back a bit. Randy Taylor said you could wear this haircut, and I told him you should get a skullet. I should have just called it. That would be awesome. Wait, who did I say I was going to be for Halloween this year? Did I tell you I was really excited about it? Um, oh, Techno Viking. Yeah, I was going to oh, do Techno Viking. Yes. Yeah, so if you guys have a chance to go look that up on YouTube, just just search uh, Techno Viking on YouTube. The guy is awesome. Such an awesome so dancer. Good. So good. I'm going to your Halloween party. Yeah. Just... So you can hang out with techno bikes. Exactly. It's so badass. I want to be Quail Man from Doug. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but okay. You have to wear your underpants over your shorts and a belt on your head. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> awesome. The coolest costume ever. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just isolating this bottom spot here. Below the occipital bone. Mm-hmm. Right, and so... I think if I cut this flat here, right, if I cut kind of a square line back here, that'll preserve these ends enough so I kind of get that like mullet bob effect that I want. So same thing like I did on the side where I cut that horizontal line first. We're going to go ahead and do that in the back as well. So this is really kind of that Sassoon wrap haircut, not R-A-P. I don't think Sassoon ever did a hip hop collection. But it's W, W R A P. All right. So the key here is I really need to make sure I have a square, square line here, right? So a little longer than finger length, right? And as I recomb out this horizontal line, I want to make sure that it's completely square this way, right? So if you would think I'd want, if there's a wall, I want to pull all the hair out to the wall. Right? Straight to my comb. I don't want to wrap around. Right? And the other side. And what this is doing is this is giving us a guide for the shape that we want. Right? And same thing over here. Just really flat. Want to make
make sure you don't like wrap your fingers around the head shape. If the hair in the corner here doesn't reach, cool. Just let it let it go. Yeah. All right. So when I come it down and I look at the shorter piece here, right, I can see a drop. With all the shorter stuff here, it actually drops to longer here. Now what I'm going to do is take the stuff underneath and I'm going to connect it up to that. And normally I don't usually like spray the hair down a bit. I kind of cut it to dry, but these awesome uh, Home Depot lighting scheme that we have <laughs> um, dries the hair out really quick. So I'm just going to give it a real light spray down there. All right, so vertical section now. And let's see, what's the best way to go? Okay, vertical section all the way down. All right, and I'm going to start at the top because that's where I can see my guide. That's what I cut horizontally. And now I'm going to kind of work up to it pretty much. So it's like ahead a bit. Now it's okay when working vertical sections, it's okay to tilt the head, but make sure you section first so it's still a straight line. And realize that you have the head tilted because if you're not... If you're uh, not aware of it, then you're going to cut some like funky lines into it, so don't do that. All right, so combing it down, and just really it's tightening up this neckline here. And if I leave a little bit of stuff at the bottom loose, it's totally cool. All right, so continuing on with these vertical sections. Right, and you know, with shorter hair, it's kind of hard to get in there sometimes, so just try and section the hair out of your way as much as possible. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Right, and just kind of working, making sure you're working straight out from the head there. I'm going to switch back my shorty scissors. My model's dying. That's not healthy. Healthy. Only the healthiest models for me. Um, and just bringing this stuff straight back. And as long as I look at that guy that I cut on top, then I know that I'm kind of going to the right place. All right, come down, <laughs> have a look at it. Yeah, so that's looking much more tighter in through there. All right, so this stuff, as I take these vertical sections, the stuff on the sides here is definitely going to be longer because I'm over-directing it back. So as you go further and further with the vertical sections, you notice that uh, there's going to be less haircut as you go. And come down. All right, and then just keep bringing that back. So it's like keep having a look at what you're doing with it. Right, this final corner here, you can kind of bring that all back. Cool. Come it down. Right, so you can see how like just I didn't even have to overdirect the middle, I just had to overdirect straight out in a wall. So you can definitely see that that corner there is left a lot heavier. So I'm just going to go back, cross check this. When you're cross checking too, make sure that your fingers don't fall around. Make sure you're keeping it flat like a wall like you were setting out to be. Holy check! Wow, that was really clean there. That's good. Holy check, holy check. There we go. Cool, so that's starting to look like a really nice, like, clean shape under there. So, same thing on this side. And because I'm moving this way, fingers are going to be up now. I'm going to just go ahead and clean that shape up a little bit. Charlie, bastardo. Because I French fries. French fries are like crack to Charlie. Seriously. 
right? So just keep bringing these vertical sections straight out with it. And this might get scissor over combed at the end. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I don't know. Bed, bath, and beyond if we got time. Mm -hmm. No hairs reaching anymore, so we're almost done. Cool. Now I can go back, cross check this out. And when you cross check, don't, you know, one of the big things I learned is don't cross cut. You know, you just kind of want to dust the ends a little bit to account for any shape that you don't want to be there. Cool. So it's looking pretty slow. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, because I want this top area in the crown to be kind of <laughs> rounded, right? So I want it here, like kind of flat, and then I want it to round up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking, graduating with horizontal sections, right? So I already put that guide in, and now I just got to bring things down to that. Or so I hope. That's what I hope happens. Hope it works out for me. Because I got viewers, and I'm gonna look really stupid if it doesn't work out for me. Nobody's talking. No, really? Yeah. No one's in chat? Crazy well, people. Well, they're in the chat, but it's not oh. talking. Yeah, you guys totally use the hair brain chat. <coughs> it's okay. You guys can talk to each other. You guys can ask me questions. It's awesome. I like it when that happens. That way I have other stuff to talk about, and I can be funny. <laughs> if you guys don't talk, then I'm gonna be totally silent. It's okay. When people don't ask questions, I just. Assume it's because I'm such a fucking awesome teacher that, uh, you know, there's no questions to be asked. Yeah, I'm so good, no one asks questions. It means you're really good or really bad. So now it's rocket surgery. <coughs> Alright, so now I'm bringing those horizontal sections back. And remember, keeping <coughs> that flat wall kind of feeling to it. Right, so it all comes, it all comes back. That was the dog, by the way, just so uh, you guys aren't confused about what's going on <laughs> behind the scenes. I didn't mean to say that so loud. <laughs> My dad's here, so he's uh, a little creepy. All right, horizontal sections nice. down. Straight back. Remember, this is a wall. Wall here. Wall here. And big. Right. So by bringing it back, so you check out that corner. It's pretty, pretty awesome. All right. Move to the other side now. Comb that down. Clip it if you need to. If not, if it just stays there, you're totally cool. And notice I'm not bringing it all straight down. I'm actually giving it quite a bit of elevation because I want it to be semi-internal. So the best way to do that is you place your comb against the head and pull it straight out, like lay it flat and straight out. And where it comes straight out to, that's where your graduation is going to be. Right. The best way to make sure you're Flat is making sure you have your elbow up. Don't like get lazy with your elbow. Because that would be dim. That would be stupid. I think you're losing your touch. What? Nobody's chatting. I know. God. No one cares about Josh anymore. I take a week off and everyone's like, meh. Someone else is streaming now. Josh is dumb. We're going to watch the, the little... Claw guy cut hair. Yeah, we're going to watch that guy with claws cut hair. That's what we're going to do. He's made with claws that cuts hair. No, don't get me started. Oh, God. <laughs> don't get me started on gimmicks. <laughs> watch, he's watching your show. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Claw Sends guy. Oh, I was just going to give you $2 million to, you know, <laughs> endorse my claws. <laughs> I'll pet the dog with him. Cause yeah, he we'll cut Charlie's hair with the claws. <laughs> anyone wants to. Send us a pair of those things. 
Oh my god, it's so bad. It's so bad. Is he trying to be Edward Scissorhands? He's the Rebecca Black of haircutting. Oh god. <laughs> no. It's Friday, Friday. It's Claw Day. It's Claw Day, Claw Day. Can't eat his cereal with his claws. Well, they're probably good for that. If, you're a cere- if your cereal is made out of human flesh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> is this thing on? Is this thing on? Hello? Anyone there? Question! Oh, wait! Yay! Ah! Question! <laughs> Are you elevating as you go? I am elevating as I go. So I'm not dropping it out down to one spot. Uh, I'm elevating as I go, and that way I don't create a weight line. Because I don't think this haircut's really... If I was bringing everything down to one spot, I would have like a definite weight line here. But I really want it to kind of round all the way up the head, so... Like I said, I'm placing the comb flat and then straight out, and that's where my elevation is. Gerard's getting the claws. Gerard's getting the claws? Sweet! <coughs> yeah, but Gerard can, like, make anything look good. He'll probably be a total baller with them. Just Gerard has to wear a really ugly shirt with them, and I think he'd be alright. Is Gerard on? No. Oh. Uh, it was Randy? Mm-hmm. That would be awesome if Gerard got the claws. I'd be stoked to see that. I'd watch your honor to actually cut with him. You know, that's the thing, though. As soon as, like, someone with, like, credibility uses him, then, like, everyone will start using him. You know? It's just, I think it's that guy. I think it's that guy is what it is. I don't know. I, I'm really tempted to do a really nice, like, photo shoot, all with a broken beer bottle. Just to show people it doesn't really matter what the hell you cut hair with. As long as, like, you know what the hell you're doing. You know? It's, it's all about, like, this doesn't matter. This matters. It's where you hold the hair. And how you hold it. And where you overdirect it. You don't really need super expensive scissors. You can use kitchen scissors if you want. They help. They help. A lot. But... Alright, so since for this top part here... Since I did horizontal sections, then I want to go ahead and go back, and I want to cross-check vertically. And, holy check, that's good. Check, check, check. Right? And now, I don't want to work around the head this way when I'm cross-checking, right? Because I brought everything straight back, so I need to cross-check straight back. And it looks pretty clean. Pretty, pretty happy with myself here. I think this might actually be a good haircut there, Tisha. I think I might do all right. The first time. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's good every time. That's why I keep coming back. I mean, it doesn't really matter what I do. You're not ugly. So, you know, <laughs> I can do whatever I want. Pretty face shape. Pretty face shape. <laughs> what kind of face shape does she have? A pretty one. <laughs> you got real pretty morale. <laughs> all right. So then cross-check on this side, yeah, I'm cross-checking graduation on the outside of my fingers. A lot. Alright. I'm just bringing that all back square. Have a seat. Cool. So I'm liking my nice square shape back here. Right? Definitely heavier towards these corners here. But it gives it that nice, like, sleek diagonal look without looking like a full-on, like, kind of A-line bob thing. So, I don't know. I really like that shape, so a lot of this is probably going to be taken out. So, I'll probably take the hairline up a bit, like Katie loves, you know. So, we'll be doing that. All right, so, now let's address this side and what I kind of want to see over here and what I want to see happen over on that side. So, we're bringing this up. You're in front of the camera. I'm in front of the camera. Okay. Whole shoulder. My whole shoulder. Stupid shoulder. Sausage shoulder. Sausage. My big stupid sausage shoulder. Looks like I have a. Looks like I have a burlap sack of sausage on my shoulder. Fucking gross. All right. So let's look at this side, right? So I think this corner could kind of bring up. I like. I like this point right here, right? So I think. To exaggerate this point, I need to exaggerate this angle. So if I kind of think of a line that goes down to that point, then I think I'm totally in business. 
So instead of going there in there and shaping it up first, I'm actually going to put my outline in first. Alright, so if I think there, right, and there, right, so go from that point up, right, so that's what needs to come up. Right, so really get in the habit of using your comb, almost like a ruler. Right, and as I move sections forward, I'll just keep putting that outline there. And I don't want to brush it too far forward. I want to bring it forward and kind of down. Right, especially with this front hair, hair here, it's a bit fragile, so you want to be kind of careful with it. All right, and just keep checking that angle as you go. So we can really see that like angle developing as we bring those down, working around the ever so tricky ear. At least you don't have sausage ears. <laughs> that would be bad. That would be embarrassing. You look like a Greco-Roman Roman wrestler. Right? So especially when I'm working around the ears and trying to create this angle here, you got almost no tension whatsoever and just take off what you think needs to be there. Cool, so you kind of have a cool shape going on there. Um, I'm going to go back and graduate this. Now, as I graduate, I want to really be careful of that outline there. So I'm probably going to leave the outline alone and just kind of take off the middle corner there. So whatever's in between here and the outline, that's what I'm taking off. So you're just taking off like this little bit. There's just a little bit of a bump there. Right, which will leave it kind of weighty at the bottom, which will leave your outline, which is really cool. And you said cool line. It is a cool line. It's almost as cool a, a line as, was your dad a thief? <laughs> then who stole those honey baked pa hams and put them in the back of your pants? <laughs> no. That was terrible. <laughs> that was a great that was line. Awful. That was a great line. That was such a great line. Uh, Really? No one? No. no not really. Damn. No. <laughs> Damn it. What the hell? The live studio audience is really They need a freaking <laughs> applause. Uh, <laughs> you guys better start laughing, otherwise I'm going sheen on you. <laughs> you already do. <laughs> you know what you need to do this haircut? Tiger's blood and the DNA of Adonis. That's what you need. That's all it takes. All right. So moving to the top here, I have this disconnection. Let's see. I always keep that disconnection. That I really like it. Off. I know. We're going to leave that. So leave that. So let's get that out of the way. And then here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work that graduation I put up there. I'm just going to work it on through this top part. Front section, back section. Which one should I pick? Well, cutting in the front section. <laughs> in the back, back section. section. Oh. So good. It's so There's so much horrible. talent on YouTube. So much talent on YouTube. If you guys haven't seen the video we we're talking about, look up Rebecca Black Friday. And be prepared to hold, or behold just look up the worst music. song ever made. Or arc music. Just look at the terribleness that's going on there. Then it'll all become clear to you what has been torturing Joshua Flowers when for the past Justin week. When what Justin Bieber started. The song was so bad I had to take a whole week off the show, okay? <laughs> there, that's the freaking truth. Like, Sh I took a whole week off to love that song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> love it. Like no other. Cool, oh, so I got a little cool little shape going on there. Right? Let's, uh, work on, let's work on some fringe here. Right? So I got, my, I got my short side really working around here. So we got to see where we're going to go with that. And let's see. If I pull that disconnection down, 
See, there's a bit of a line there. All right, I have a little bit of disconnect over there, but I'm just going to comb everything forward and see how I can kind of connect this out and make this work. Question. Yeah, go Someone question. said, why is that graduation and not layering? Um, my sections were this way, right? And as a lower elevation, if it was up like this, then it would definitely be layering, but it was bringing it down that way. It's close to layering. You know, the only difference between layering and graduation is one degree, really. So sometimes graduation can look like layering. Sometimes graduation will look like one length. Sometimes graduation just looks like graduation. It could have been layering. You could layer it if you wanted. All right, so I'm gonna work, let's see. I'm gonna work from this line that I created, and I'm gonna work it around. All right, so I want like a nice kind of halo feel to it. All right, straight across here. Actually, you know, I'm going to put tension on it to really kind of see that line that I want to see there. That's something that when I was watching Mark Hayes cut backstage, the ice show, I saw him like put a lot of tension into the fringe. And that was something I've never, I was always taught, just put your comb in there and cut around it. But it was kind of cool to see him really like putting a lot of force in there. So I've been using that a lot lately. It's been kind of working out quite well. Question from the same lady as the last question. Okay. The same person. I can't really read that far. Okay. So it isn't as flat as the other side. No, it's got a little more. Well, I mean, the other side's so short that it's not really as flat, right? So this side's definitely becoming like almost like my halo side. So yeah, I mean, it's a little rounder too. The shape is rounder too because it's shorter to the front, going longer to the back here. So. Just in this little corner here, it's definitely a round shape. Yeah, see, when I put tension on it, when I use tension to create my shape, it's so much easier just to go in there really lightly and kind of refine it. Question. I was starting out with just using the comb the whole time, but now that I go in there, and uh, use the tension to put the shape in, and then go back and point through. I'm getting a much cleaner line now, so that's pretty cool. I'm liking that. Thank you, Mark Hayes. Well, I think that kind of answers the question, but why would you use tension instead of just using your comb with no tension? Because, like, the, with using tension, I totally just... I always used to use my comb. And like I said, when I was in Long Beach, I saw Mark Hayes doing all his fringe, clean lines in his fingers and really like putting a lot of tension on it. So I started doing that and it totally works because I can force my shape in because otherwise like, I can put my comb in and then I'm kind of working against the tension. And this is moved around so much that it's hard to get a clean line in there. Whereas if I go in there with the hard tension first, right, and cut the shape I want, then when I go back, it's a lot easier just to go in and point out like the refinement and really get the shape in there. But it makes a lot of sense. Like, I don't know, it's made my lines a lot cleaner by using tension in it. But yeah, I was always taught, put your comb in and cut it. But it's too wobbly. You get too much of this. Whereas if you just comb it down and hold it in your hands and force that line in there, it makes it a lot better. So, question. I don't know. It's been working for me. Okay. Does this question come? What? I can't read that far. Oh, okay. It's too small. Oh, okay. Does it matter how wet the hair is when using the tension? Um, it can be damp. I don't think it matters too much. I mean, I just, I never really think about it too much. Um, if it's going to be, I kind of usually cut just, depending on the texture, I usually cut from wet to dry and very rarely do I actually spray the hair down but sometimes in the hot lights I gotta spray it down but it's supposed to be working around fringe stuff I like it a little dry or just a little bit damp so now I have this really nice like round shape through the front here 
So now I'm just going to connect through with my kind of flatter, kind of short stuff through here. And I think just right up to the hairline. And our dog is acting a fool tonight. He is on the bed by himself crying. <laughs> Alright, so don't even bother about hairlines. Just take the hairline off sometimes. <laughs> So this time it's so short that I'm not even putting it in my finger, so no, no need for tension here. I'm just taking that off. All right, coming through, go ahead and calm it with the natural fall. There's that disconnection I want to save. So I'm just going to comb this down with the natural fall. <coughs> around. If there's a little bit of hairline in your way, just get rid of it. It's cool. Well, I just liked it. It was really close up of your beard. <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, no. well, no. I mean, oh. it was just, I, I was looking at mine, and then I looked at that one in your beard was right there. Extreme beard <laughs> close up. I wasn't expecting to see half your face in there. And so it can be an honorary Lebowski brother. Mm -hmm. They don't want you. <laughs> they don't want me, I know. That's okay. I'll take a little Lebowski. I'm cool with that. Little Lebowski. Little Lebowski. Little Bow Wow. <laughs> Speaking of bad music once again. Wow, this is bad. Hi, right, welcome to Josh Hicks so Bad Music Night. The show where we just talk about bad music. Cool, so I'm kind of liking my little double round shape there. It's like a double rainbow. God, it's so intense. What does it mean? What does it mean? What do your bangs mean? God, they're so intense. Alright. It's on. <laughs> Alright, so when we comb this down... You see, we have that nice little disconnection there. And I think the disconnection's kind of gotten a little too big here. But we see that if I come this straight down, the disconnection falls right from that round shape that I put in right into the other round shape on the other side. The double round shape! Oh my god! It's almost a triple round shape! You know, so many, what does it mean? So many people are, like, inspired, like, make up some bullshit, like, things. Like, this season's haircuts are inspired by Fendi Pierce's. Like, all my haircuts are inspired by internet memes, you know? So, expect the Tron Guy haircut coming up soon. It's an old school one. Can't wait for the Techno-Viking Techno-Viking haircut. Can I do that one on you? Yes. All right. All right. Katie's going to do the Techno-Viking haircut on me. And uh, Katie is actually going to... Date board tomorrow, I so to tell anyone. yeah, well, I'm telling them so that they I can all say good my luck. Friends. Oh yeah, well, yeah. now the whole internet knows. Stupid internet. I'm not going. What? <laughs> You're all Lies. Old. All right, so I want to kind of assess the shape again. All right, this might still be a little heavy through here. Alright, if I comb it down, yeah, it's a little little bumpy right there. So I'm just going to round that out a little bit more. Alright. Yeah, there's definitely a bit of a disconnection there. So we're just going to take that a bit of a corner off. Be careful when you're working around a disconnection. Let's see, where is that disconnection? There it is. Alright, okay. So there, let's bring that all back. Cause even if I take this out, I'm good with my disconnection there. I'm, I'm saving that front line there. All right, so I can take this all back. Cause that's just too much hair that doesn't need to be there. All right, bam. 
Yeah, so that's looking quite a bit lighter now. I'm liking that a bit more. God, what an awesome haircut. Almost a triple haircut. There's so many haircuts in there. What does it mean? Cool, that's, that's looking pretty damn rad. So, whoa, 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 it's getting close up again. Hey. Hi. 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 There. You can see Hi. every, every pore on the back of my Hi. head. We're in high def. Hi. Hello. Creepy boys. Creepy. All right, so now we're going to work on putting our shape in through the back here. So, <laughs> You know, a lot of times I used to just go ahead and like approach it, like looking at it like how you guys are, but you really want to get in the habit of looking at the profile and how that's going to like make it work out too. So, right, if I look at that, remember that point that I really liked, like right there, right? So that, this stuff here, if I look at it from the side, I want this gone here, right? So I want that kind of really bobbed, like really severe, like a-line shape right there. So that says to me that all this stuff needs to come out. So I'm actually going to start from the side when I'm taking that out. Right, so there's my point. Right, and I'm going to work up that way. Right, so just place my comb in. Right. And I'm not worried about the hair below it. I'm just trying to get the shape that I want. Someone said any color ideas, Joe? Um, I'm not much of a colorist. Um, I don't know. I, I think maybe something really warm on there to pop. <laughs> I think she's got a beautiful, like, natural color. So maybe if my viewers have some suggestions, that'd be cool. But I kind of like her color as it is. I wouldn't mind seeing something lighter. I think some lighter stuff in there would really show off the shape. <coughs> but it's kind of a sucker for having platinum blonde hair on short little cuts like this. But, I don't know. I think any color would be good. You guys got to understand how, how tough it is for me to talk about color, because I don't really know much about it. I do, I, I just don't know much about it, so I just kind of wing it the whole time. Right, well, I don't know, I kind of like that a little wispy right there, so. Did I really just use the word wispy? Yep. God. Who are you? I'm a horrible person. See anymore. what happens when I take a week off? I just start using really bad terminology. Right, so. Is that for texture and movement? It's for texture and movement. Oh my god, I'm going to have an <laughs> accent soon. I'm not allowed to take a week off anymore. This is horrible. Right, so I'm liking my clean line there. And just kind of work that around. You know, I love working hairlines. And it sucks because it's the spot that your clients never see, but whatever. All right, so the same thing on this side. I really like that oh, kind wow. of A-line version there. What? I was trying to catch up on the chat, and it was oh. just you. It was just me. Because, <laughs> hey, face it, I'm the important one here, damn it. <laughs> Ew. Ego. Gross. Not one of those guys. Really. This is a dork with a webcam. And a sweet microphone. And a sweet microphone. And a Home Depot lighting. And a Home Depot lighting. All right, cool. I got all that. I got all that. All right, so now, after I got those angles in that I want, now I can go back and assess this middle line that I want. So, a little more curvy, I think. All right, because I got that slant that I wanted. So now I got to go back in the middle and kind of... Clear that out. Right, and kind of round it out a little bit. I'm pretty far up in that hairline now, so be careful. In whatever shape you're putting in, make sure it's right. Otherwise, you're going to be going up the back of your, her head. And with this stuff, it's a little jumpy back here, so I'm not using any tension whatsoever. I'm pretty much just freehanding it. And I find when doing these hairlines, if you cut the hair underneath a little shorter and then let the top down, as long as it's not looking wispy, you're doing good. Yeah, good question. What if you left the hairline 
like the fringe with one side longer would look stupid. No, nah, it'd look good, but you would just want it to balance out that way. I could totally do that. But I think it's too much. You know, it's almost like too obvious, I think. You can try it out. I think it might be look good, but you know, if I got a line like this going on, like generally like you know, just pick one thing. Like you don't wanna do too much in something, you know, you wanna try and especially if it's already weird. Like if it's already asymmetrical and not the most normal haircut in the world, just it only takes one thing to make it look awesome and different. You know, you don't need to put in a ton of like crazy asymmetrical lines. This is in a couple just to make it look, you know, how you want it. But I think, you know, there's a way of overdoing things. And I think by making the back kind of asymmetrical too, then I would be overdoing it a little bit. But I mean, it's worth trying. It might have worked out. It's just my preference, you know. I try and I try to keep it as simple as possible. Doesn't always work out though. Sometimes I go overboard, but I mean that's cool. You can always take it away, so it could work out that way. All right, secret sauce. <laughs> I want to tell everyone how I curled your hair the other night. Oh, yeah. Katie curled <laughs> my hair the other night. It was so freaking awesome. It was like, it had bangs pictures? that came down and it came up. Oh, yeah, we have pictures. And then we awesome. made him like flock of seagulls. Uh-huh. And yeah. then, I don't know what the last one Yeah, she so just kept curling hair into my head and couldn't stop laughing the whole time she was doing it. It was, was really, crying. really funny. She was crying. She peed her pants. That's no, I didn't. Yeah, you totally peed yourself. <laughs> You sound. You smelled like a rest home. What? Yeah. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. You're such a liar. I am not a liar. Yes, you are. I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna post those pictures on the internet. Fine, do it. Put them really under fun. your work on hairbrain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is what I do. This is what I do. I do hair recommendations. I take pictures of Charlie <laughs> and I curl my boyfriend's hair. All right, so let's. Really, not a lot of styling needs to go on. You just need to kind of comb things down, comb things in the back. Just a little bit of wrapping. <laughs> R.A.P. Yeah. It's a party and party, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We so excited. <laughs> we so excited. Party and party. Yeah! <coughs> right, and short hair sometimes. Cool, just take a fine tooth comb and really comb everything down and into it. of all of my haircuts, like for, since when I first started, when I first came to you guys, and then a year, a year of haircuts yeah, with Josh. Yeah, like one year of haircuts with Josh Flowers. Did you guys see that on YouTube? A year of haircuts? Or the, <laughs> the picture a day? The picture a day for like eight years. Uh -uh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Such it's really a trip. Awesome. I like how his hair, because he's... That kind of a Jew pro, so I like yeah. how it starts it's going out and then it's like, yeah. <laughs> really cool. smoothed out and uh, there's a little bit of weight going on there that I'm not not liking and that weight is if you put your head down there's these shorter layers here and then it kind of goes long so I just need to connect those out a little bit so I'm gonna take a uh, let's see let's turn it this way I'm gonna take a vertical already in the shot yeah move that back a bit there we go so taking vertical sections through the front here just bringing them up 
Oh, it's from that disconnection. That's what it is. All right, so we're going to skinny out that disconnection just a little bit, right? So just kind of sliding up with that. You can use whatever technique you want to comb out, but I'm just using this little slide technique here. And up. So I bring everything back and then just barely connect up. And that'll help connect these like little layers that we have in the back there. Party and party, yeah! So you gotta check the chat after. Oh yeah? Yeah. Why, is everyone making fun of me or something? <laughs> Duh. Oh, damn. No, I'm just kidding. So I changed the color saturation on the the settings there. My shirt looks really green, much greener than it actually is in video. I know. Does the quality seem better for anyone watching? Or did you like it the old way when I used to do the show? Let's see if anyone responds to me. Nope, everyone hates you. Everyone hates me? Damn it! Why? I you just want to be popular. Yeah, that's why. Okay. So we went to a party and my brother was there, right? And my brother's obsessed with Rebecca Black. So, right when my brother sees Josh, they both start, like, screaming yeah. that song in the middle of the party. Uh -huh. And they awesome. embrace each other. Yep. Oh, and then when we left, Josh hug. was carrying my brother like a baby. Uh -huh. And my brother was all, swag, 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 swag. It was While awesome. Josh was carrying him like a child. Best party ever. <laughs> my brother's 25. Yeah. <laughs> Getting carried like a baby. We love Robert Butler. <laughs> and his best Robbie Butler is the coolest. Alright, so just going through. There's a couple of little bits that I can kind of clean up. Make a little cleaner. Alright, so just this line right here. Even though, you know, I got it cut almost like shaved on the side there. I can still put in a bit of a clean line right here. So I'm just refining that. Is so stupid. Hey, and adorable. And adorable. Our dog is stupid and adorable. Like <laughs> that was hilarious. That was awesome. Alright, so just cleaning out my line here a little bit. Stupid. Charlie, what are you doing? <laughs> For real. <laughs> I wonder how long you would have been stuck there. I wonder if he would have eventually figured it out. No, like, he barely fit back there, though. <laughs> it's, like, it's like Austin Powers <laughs> in between the walls trying to back up and forth. Alright, that's looking freaking awesome, I think. You're such an awesome model. That's why you win the Caltech So Weapons Choice Favorite Model Award. Yay! Yeah. Thank you. Alright, so we're just going to add some shiny stuff on it. A little secret spray. Okay. It really doesn't need much tape, does it? I don't need to put it in a ton of bags or anything like that. I don't even want it to be like... It could be like a bit messy, but I don't want it to be that way. I want it really nice and smooth. And awesome. And kicking it. Oh! What was that? <laughs> wow, I think my dog almost died. My dog almost had a hemorrhage. Three Rooted. times today. Three times. Alright, so we'll bring this down. Really kind of piecing out that disconnection there. No. Where's that one of you? Oh my god, what the hell is wrong with you? Our dog is crazy right now. French fries, yeah. So there we go. There's our, uh, there's our little haircut that I'm loving a bit. So we've got a really nice, like, round, kind of halo y shape here. Going back into the square graduation in the back here. Really nice and clean. And uh, yeah, then we got our uh, by winning um, bangs here. So really short through here. And then our halo shape going through the front. And of course our disconnection, which I guess you could do something like that. Make it make it fun and cool. 
Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> okay, that's it. So remember, guys, we're on three times a week. Uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Sundays, 7 p.m. Pacific time. Most of the time, sometimes we take nights off, so don't freak out. Um, and you can watch past episodes, joshxo.com. Social networking stuff, uh, facebook.com backslash joshxotv. Or follow me on twitter.com backslash joshxo. Join my group on Hairbrained. Um, and leave comments there. And like any videos that you watch. And what else? Um, oh yeah, I'm available on iTunes. So type in joshxo and download this stuff. And you can watch it on your iPhone and your iPod and all that stuff. And big special thanks to Tisha here for being such an awesome model. And uh, no thanks to Charlie for being an <laughs> annoying old bastard this episode. And uh, that's going to do it. So, good to be back. Good to have this episode back. Remember, watch uh, episode 50, and uh, I'll be talking about my life and times and hair and that kind of thing. So, that should be coming up soon. So, uh, thanks for stopping by, guys, and see you guys next time. Are you doing a show on Tuesday? Um, if we find a model. Yeah. I won't even be here. Oh, okay.